Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Ed Gunleshi presents. Before we go full send on some critters, I just wanted to say thank you for all the continued support. This channel is under constant attack from those who actively seek out things that offend them. They binge watch and report all the videos knowing that YouTube's algorithms are just going to assume guilty until proven innocent. They know that majority of the people who watch uh, and enjoy this channel just do so quietly because they're normal. So when they report, it holds more weight. So please continue to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button like many of you have been doing. Uh, trust me in that YouTube notices. And over the past month, as a result of your support, they have reversed over 10 negative decisions that impacted videos made by their automated systems. So, all right, let's get back to this week's video. What's up, guys? Happy Thanksgiving to my fellow friends here in the States. It's been a weird year, so if Thanksgiving is feeling a little off for you, I thought I'd drop a backyard banger for you today. Buckle up, we got a good one. This day was just squirrel after squirrel after squirrel, which is kind of normal for this yard, but this one just felt different. Uh, I was drinking my coffee this morning uh, and just looking out over the yard, and I could just see squirrels everywhere. A couple on the roof, another barking above. They were just everywhere. So I snuck out, dropped some peanuts out at the table for one, and I settled in. And then this first chipmunk came in just a few minutes later, and I don't know about you guys, but these little bastards are pretty high up on the kill list in my house. So I was watching him run around a little bit until finally he made his way up and he turned broadside. It's weird, sometimes chipmunks can be super aggressive uh, and they'll chase squirrels away. I've gotten on film a bunch of times. But once this guy was done, the squirrel floodgates opened up and I went full send. Pulled that one a bit, as you saw, but uh, with the Leshy 2 going full gas, it did not matter. It was a messy lights out. Uh, I'll have to edit a little bit of the mess out here in a bit, as uh, YouTube is not a fan of blood or other fluids being shown. So as we get down uh, past this guy, I think the third one is where it just becomes a hot mess back there. So I'm going to have to edit a little bit out. This one, just watch the impact of this. Oh, I'm slightly low, I guess, and watching this back, but man, oh man, I mean, just absolutely devastating. 
Doesn't get much more humane than that. Today's video is sponsored by Olight, and they are having a huge Black Friday sale starting today. So I'll throw a link in the description that you can go check out after watching this backyard banger. Uh, as part of that sale, they're also announcing a few different lights, but one of them being this guy right here, the Odin Mini. It comes in black, gray, and desert tan. I've had this light for a couple weeks now, and I'm excited to finally get to talk to you guys about it. It throws uh, a whopping 1,250 lumens up to 240 meters downrange. Uh, which I'll show you actually here in just a second. The battery life's awesome. It's like five hours. Uh, and it just has a super simple magnetic tail switch charger that all Olights come with at this point. So, or most of them. Uh, it also comes with this integrated M-Lock mount, which is really awesome. Uh, they have a Picatinny one that you can buy separately too. So one of my favorite things though uh, is the included pressure switch. So I have mine mounted in just the perfect spot for my hold. Here's my uh, indoor 10 yard range in my basement. It's pitch dark as you'll see when I toggle it on and off. I'll rip a couple uh, and you can see with the optic, it's giving plenty of light if needed. I would honestly just typically be using an offset red dot for this, but I just wanted you to be able to see through the optic in pitch dark as well. One of my favorite things about this company and their sales is that they do these bundles. So there are some sick deals and other new lights to go check out as well, like this Warrior Mini in copper. This guy has been in my pocket for a couple weeks now. I can't wait for this thing to patina. Um, it's got a tactical tail switch uh, and then a normal on-off button up near the top too. So last thing, uh, before we get back to the rest of this video, uh, Olight has provided fans of the channel a 10% off promo code, which is EDGUN. Uh, E-D-G-U-N, simple. Uh, it's not going to be something that you can do on top of a sale item, but if you miss the sale or you're snagging something that's not on sale, uh, you can get 10% off using that code. So thanks again, Olight, for making this video possible. And now back to the backyard pew pew. Here's where I need to edit out this swimming pool from the first two. So I got a better system now of editing these so that I'm able to get the individual clips up onto Club Leshy a lot quicker. So uh, essentially before it was like double the work. But anyways, this guy just, it's so weird when they start beating up on dead ones. This guy's chewing away on it, eating here for a second. And then finally he turns square on and I absolutely drill him. Look at the energy transfer in this. The energy dump of this is insane. Watch this, what happens. This thing goes flying. I'm actually gonna replay that one. I think this could have gone three, four feet past. Uh, if that backstop wasn't there, the Leshy 2 doesn't play, man. Tiny little thing hits like a truck. Watch this. <laughs> Just anchored him. So I we went back and retrieved them, uh, cleaning things up a bit, and then I brought all three over to my neighbors thinking I was done for the day. Nope. That was just intermission, apparently. They just kept on coming. And this first guy, I don't think I have to edit that out. YouTube, if you're watching that, that's paint. I promise. I was just painting back there. That's all. That one was dead center and what we like to call in the business, a no doubter. There was a bit of a low for about 30 minutes and then this guy came flying in. I had left the Tacticam cameras rolling on the last one on accident so the batteries were toast. But I think you'll get the idea from the scope cam footage on how this one went.
Alright, we're gonna end this video in this crazy morning with this one. I actually had an audience for this as I had just dropped off uh, that last squirrel to my neighbor and she was watching from her chair on the back porch. I smoked it. Oof. I'm gonna replay this one and slow it down uh, for one last look to show how well this pellet flies. You need to be careful uh, with painting pellets. Uh, you add too much and they'll wobble like crazy, especially at longer distances. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started. Mm hmm?